Huh. Interesting. So guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend, especially knowing that, well, it is Comic-Con. I originally had no intentions of making a video today whatsoever. I was just going to do my Deadpool and Wolverine videos along with my Terrifier 3 reaction and just relax today, go to work, spend the rest of the day with my girlfriend, and that was it. But then this news broke, and I originally once again was thinking maybe I might do a YouTube short on it, but the more I kept jesting on the idea, I do have some thoughts to say. Before I continue on with today's video, I just wanted to say welcome to my channel, everybody. For those of you who are coming back to my channel for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button and see that it's a future video, whether it's a future review, react, top five, or whatever I've coming your way. And please join me on my journey to 10k subscribers and beyond because believe me when I say this, guys. I have so much cool shit coming your way. You guys are not going to miss it. And for those of you coming back to my channel, welcome back. You have no idea how happy I'm to see your faces once again. Comic-Con is officially going on right now. I think it's the last day. But yesterday, Saturday, was Marvel Studios Hallway presentation, which I'm pretty sure the majority of not only film fans, comic fans, pop culture fans, they always look forward to the Marvel H the Marvel Hall of Presentation because they usually do bangers every single year. And of course, knowing what was happening with the multiverse saga, everyone was wondering specifically, A, what is going on with the newest Avengers films? B, who's dreading and C, most specifically, since that Kang is no longer a part of the picture, who is the new villain and who is being cast as the new villain? First of all, I just want to start off by saying this. I am actually really excited and very happy that the Rooster Brothers are coming back to direct the next two Avengers films because let's be real guys, the reason, or I should say one of the biggest reasons why not only Winter Soldier worked, Civil War worked, and a lot of the Fanny War and Endgame was because of them. Those brothers had such a gargantuan task and they pulled it off in spades, so I'm actually really happy that it's them coming back because when you're dealing with such a huge scope in the story it makes sense i don't know why people are mad about that but personally for me i am very excited about this avengers king dynasty was retitled as avengers 5 and now it is titled as avengers doomsday and actually at hall h they showed a bunch of people dressed up as dr doom walking out and i was thinking okay so they got dr doom but question is who is playing as dr doom this is where the conflicting emotions come in. Who is officially going to be playing as Dr. Doom? Robert Downey Jr. I am very conflicted about this decision. Robert Downey Jr., I love him as an actor. As a matter of fact, Robert Downey Jr. is one of the GOATs. As a matter of fact, I mean, hell, if you didn't watch Oppenheimer even in the Oscars for that matter, I mean, I didn't, but still, nonetheless, he just won an Oscar. Finally, about time I should mention it as well. I'm not denying that Robert Downey Jr. is a great actor because he is one of the greatest working today. But it's the fact that he's not playing as Doctor Doom. I keep hearing that it's a variant of Doctor Doom or it's a variant of Tony Stark that became Doctor Doom, which the Russo brothers said, and I'm pretty sure I'm paraphrasing this, before they introduced him playing as Doctor Doom, they said, in the scheme of the multiverse, there's only one person can play as Doctor Doom. That is where I disagree. Bringing back Robert Downey Jr. just because of the possibilities of the multiverse, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. It screams two things, in my personal opinion. Safe, it absolutely screams safe, and B desperation a lot of people out there are comparing this to hugh jackman and deadpool and wolverine guys did you not see deadpool and wolverine hugh jackman coming back as wolverine and deadpool and wolverine not only made perfect sense but they explained it not only for the story purposes but because of the character it made complete sense here is robert Downey jr it doesn't. Once I heard the Russo brothers saying that because of the grand schemes and the possibilities of the multiverse, 
That is when I thought, no, Robert Downey Jr. will probably be a great Doctor Doom. I'm not denying that whatsoever. And I will say this, to play devil's advocate here, the possibilities within the story of this could be great. I'm not going to deny that. There are some great story possibilities, but was Robert Downey Jr. really your only choice for this? Now, really quick, to move on to the next thing, I know you guys are probably asking who I would have cast as Dr. Doom. And I'm glad you asked that because I thought of five actors, well, originally four actors because there were four people I was thinking of, but I couldn't think of the fifth actor until literally before I started recording the video. And as soon as I thought of the fifth actor, my eyes widened. One of my personal picks for Dr. Doom, and I have been saying that this is gonna be perfect, Jason Isaacs. I mean, not only was he Lucius Malfoy in the Harry Potter films, he was a great villain in The Cure for Wellness, but also his range as a dramatic actor. Watch the film Mass. Nuff said. Jason Isaacs, I think, is a brilliant actor, and just looking at him, I can totally see him in that Doctor Doom mask. I mean, it just makes perfect sense. And that, for me, at the time being, was my perfect casting choice until I saw my number five. Another great casting choice would have been Alexander Skarsgård. I mean, look at what the guy has done. He just came off The Northman, which is one of my favorite films. Alexander Skarsgård could have not only made such an, such an intimidating presence. I mean, again, have you seen The Northman, for God's sakes? The charisma, the looks, and he could be pretty freaking menacing to say the least. Going on to the third casting choice, and I know that everybody has been screaming this, I can't remember his name, but it's Nikolai, I can't remember his full name, but he played Kingslayer in Game of Thrones. I mean, could you imagine that face with Doctor Doom's costume? He would be perfect. The fourth choice that I thought of, and this would be perfect, especially knowing that he was an Oppenheimer as well, but Killian Murphy as Doctor Doom would have been great casting choices right there. Today, guys, when I was looking up casting choices for Doctor Doom, there was one name that I saw that legitimately made my eyes widen. And, and you know what? I was actually talking to my girlfriend about this before I started recording this, but she was saying, it's because you've been watching The Boys. And mainly that may be a part of it because he's grand The Boys, but guys, think about it. How great would it be if Jeffrey Dean Morgan were to be cast as Doctor Doom, as like the Doctor Doom, not as a variant, if the theories are true, but the Doctor Doom. Look at the roles that Jeffrey Dean Morgan has played. He played the comedian in Watchmen, Negan in The Walking Dead. I mean, this guy, if you ask me, just has the look right there. And not to mention, well, like I mentioned with Alexander Skarsgård and with Jason Isaacs and with everybody else, he's got the personality, he's got the charm, he's got the charisma, and he has great range as an actor, but not to mention it as well, my god, he can pull off that look of kind of messing with you, but at the same time, I mean, have you seen this clip from The Walking Dead? Play this clip. Well, pardon me, young man, excuse the shit out of my goddamn French, but... Did you just threaten me? It makes perfect sense. I mean, I can imagine why he wouldn't be cast is because he's a little too old to play the role, but still, nonetheless, Jeffrey Dean Morgan for me, I mean, Jason Isaacs, don't get me wrong, is still my dream casting choice, but once I saw Jeffrey Dean Morgan's in my eyes, I thought, holy crap, how did I not think about this? I'm still excited for Doomsday, absolutely, just to see how the Russo Brothers tackle Dr. Doom, but I just... I want to be very positive about this. I really, really do. But I just, I don't see it right now. I just don't. I mean, who knows? Maybe when something comes out with footage of Doomsday happens, absolutely sure. But for the time being right now, I'm more on the side of slightly negative than positive about this. But hey, I am hoping I'm wrong because, hey, stranger things, weirder things have happened in the world of comic books and filmmaking for superheroes. I implore them to make a great Doomsday movie and Robert Downey Jr. Knowing how he will do with Iron Man, I am hoping to do a great job. I know he will, but it just, I don't know why it just doesn't fit with me at the moment. I could be completely wrong and I'm hoping I am, but RDJ, 
do great. I hope you all enjoyed my thoughts on Robert Downey Jr. being cast as Doctor Doom. If so, press the like button, or if you didn't like my thoughts, hit the dislike button. If you guys want to see my previous two videos, please click it right there or right there. And of course, until my next review or video goes live, I will see you all next time.